In this presentation, my 10 best supplements for weight loss backed by research, how to avoid fake supplements, how to save money on supplements, and what you can do if you've already tried it all and followed many doctors and health gurus, but nothing worked. Remember that no supplement will ever replace a healthy and balanced diet and regular exercise. Before taking any supplement, make sure to conduct your own research, especially regarding the potential risks, side effects, and interactions with prescription medicines of the supplement you're considering. It's best to consult a doctor for guidance and don't start any new supplement without their approval. If you have a known kidney or liver condition, your doctor may suggest regular monitoring of your kidney and liver function through blood tests. Also, even though I did make every effort to include the latest scientific studies, please note that research is constantly changing and one clinical trial cannot always cover diverse bodies and communities. Individual responses to foods, herbs, supplements, and treatments may vary based on genetics, environment, and other factors. Even solid clinical trials and studies tend to have an agenda or underlying bias, and despite the best intentions and efforts of researchers, the scope and purpose of scientific research will always be somewhat limited by factors such as funding, ethics, and logistical constraints. Don't assume all studies are one 100% reflective of reality just because they're peer-reviewed. Relying on a single expert or source can be risky, as errors and biases can occur. It's best to verify information from multiple sources before accepting it at face value. Engage in due diligence and critical thinking to ensure that you are making informed decisions. If you wish to deep dive into the topic, you can check out my references posted in the description box below. According to the World Health Organization, obesity has surged since 1975, with over 1.9 billion adults in 2016 gaining excess weight and more than 650 million of them becoming obese. And according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, people who are overweight or obese have a higher risk of various serious health issues, including increased mortality, high blood pressure, abnormal cholesterol levels, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, stroke, gallbladder problems, joint issues like osteoarthritis, sleep disorders, various cancers, decreased quality of life, mental health conditions like depression and anxiety, and physical limitations. Here are my top 10 supplements for weight loss backed by limited human studies that offer a glimpse into their potential to aid you on your journey towards a healthier, leaner you. Please note that while supplements have their place, they can't outperform the benefits of a balanced diet and consistent exercise. First on the list is lactoferrin. In a randomized controlled trial published in 2010, researchers investigated the effects of enteric-coated lactoferrin, a glycoprotein found in mammalian milk, on visceral fat type obesity, which is linked to the metabolic syndrome. The study involved 26 Japanese men and women, aged 22 to 60, who had abdominal obesity. They were divided into two groups. One consumed 300 milligrams of enteric-coated lactoferrin tablets per day, and the other took placebo tablets. After eight weeks, the lactoferrin group showed significant reductions in visceral fat area, body weight, body mass index and hip circumference compared to the placebo group. There was also a trend for reduced waist circumference in the lactoferrin group. No adverse effects were observed. The study suggests that lactoferrin holds promise for managing visceral fat accumulation. The study was limited by a small number of participants though. Further clinical trials on larger populations are needed to confirm the findings. Second on my list is gynostema. Also known as Giaugulan, gynostema is an herb with a rich history in traditional medicine. It's often referred to as the immortality herb and sometimes as the poor man's ginseng because it offers similar health benefits to Asian ginseng but is more affordable. In a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled clinical trial published in 2014, researchers investigated actiponin, a heat-processed gynostema extract, in relation to body weight, fat loss, and metabolic markers in 80 obese Korean participants. 40 of them took 450 milligrams of actiponin per day, while the other 40 took a placebo. After 12 weeks, the actiponin group experienced significant reductions in belly fat, weight, body fat percentage, and overall improvement in health compared to the placebo group. The authors of the study concluded that actiponin is a potent anti-obesity reagent that does not produce any significant adverse effects, and that the findings suggest that actiponin supplementation may be effective for treating individuals with obesity. Next is berberine, a compound found in various plants such as barberry, Oregon grape, golden seal, and Chinese gold thread that boasts a 3,000-year history of use in traditional Chinese and Indian medicine. In a 2012 study, researchers tested the weight loss efficacy of berberine on 37 newly diagnosed metabolic syndrome patients. The patients took 300 milligrams of berberine three times a day. After three months, they exhibited a lower body mass index and improved insulin resistance. The ratio of leptin to adiponectin also went down, which is good for metabolic health. In another study published in 2012, seven obese Caucasian took 500 milligrams of berberine three times a day for 12 weeks. Researchers checked their weight, blood tests, inflammation markers, and heart health before and after the study. Results showed berberine led to mild weight loss, about five pounds per person, and significantly lowered triglycerides and cholesterol. No harmful side effects were found in tests of various body functions. Next is bilberry, also known as European blueberry or whortleberry. In a randomized controlled trial published in 2011, researchers aimed to see how different types of berries, like sea buckthorn and bilberries, 
affect overweight and obese women's health markers related to conditions like obesity, type 2 diabetes, and heart diseases. They recruited 110 women for the study, and 80 of them completed it. The participants followed four berry-based diets, bilberries, sea buckthorn, sea buckthorn phenolic extract, and sea buckthorn oil, randomly for about a month each. After each diet, they took a break for about a month. Blood samples and physical measurements were taken throughout the study. Results showed that bilberries and sea buckthorn led to a statistically significant reduction in waist circumference, with a small decrease in weight observed after the bilberry diet. Some markers of vascular health improved, like a decrease in vascular cell adhesion molecule after bilberries and sea buckthorn oil and intercellular adhesion molecule after sea buckthorn phenolic extract. The study suggests that different berries and their components have slight positive effects on health markers related to metabolic diseases in overweight and obese women. While the effects may be modest, incorporating a variety of berries into your diet could be a tasty and beneficial choice for your health. Fifth on my list is hop extract. In a randomized controlled trial published in 2016, 200 participants, both men and women aged 20 to 65, with a body mass index between 25 and 30, were randomly divided into two groups. One group consumed a 350 milliliter beverage containing matured hop extract, while the other group had a placebo beverage daily. After 8 and 12 weeks, the hop extract group experienced a significant reduction in visceral fat around the organs, as well as a decrease in total body fat after 12 weeks. No negative side effects related to the beverages or adverse changes and health indicators were observed in either group. The study suggests that regular consumption of matured hop extract can safely assist overweight individuals, particularly in reducing abdominal visceral fat. This finding holds promise for those seeking to manage their weight and improve their overall health. By the way, before I continue, if you're new here, I'm Jara from the Philippines. Welcome to my channel where I share my knowledge and discoveries about everything related to natural health remedies and personal development gained from reading scientific journals and books written by doctors and experts. If you also have a gluttonous appetite for new knowledge, please consider subscribing. Also, you might want to check out my ebook, 40 Wrinkle Fighters Other Than Retinol, backed by scientific studies. Just click the link in the description box below for more more details. Moving on, sixth on the list is white kidney bean extract. White kidney beans contain phytohemagglutinin, a lectin, which in large quantities can be toxic to humans. However, when consumed in smaller amounts, it may actually help suppress appetite. In a 2007 study, 60 slightly overweight participants were assigned to either take white kidney bean extract or a placebo pill daily before consuming a carbohydrate-rich meal. After 30 days, those who took the white kidney bean extract alongside a carbohydrate-rich diet experienced significant reductions in body weight, body mass index, fat mass, adipose tissue thickness, and waist hip thigh circumferences, all while maintaining lean body mass compared to subjects receiving the placebo. The study suggests that white kidney bean extract can assist overweight individuals in losing weight and reducing fat while preserving their lean body mass. In another study published in the same year, 25 healthy subjects were assigned to either take 1,000 mg of white bean extract or a placebo twice a day before meals. All participants followed a multi-component weight loss program, which included dietary changes, exercise, and behavioral interventions. Both groups achieved significant reductions in weight and waist size compared to their initial measurements. The white bean extract group lost an average of 6.0 pounds and 2.2 inches from their waist, while the placebo group lost 4.7 pounds and 2.1 inches from their waist. However, these differences between the two two groups did not reach statistical significance in terms of weight or waist size. The study demonstrated that participants who adhered to a comprehensive weight loss program, incorporating dietary modifications, exercise, and behavior modifications, achieved substantial reductions in weight and waist size within a short time frame. An additional analysis revealed that participants who consumed the most carbohydrates experienced more significant reductions in weight and waist size when they included white bean extract in their program. Nonetheless, longer-term studies involving larger groups of participants are necessary to validate these findings. Moreover, in a study published in 2014, 60 overweight subjects received a weight management plan and dietary advice to follow. 30 of them used bean block, a standardized extract from white kidney bean, in the form of 50 mg tablets, taken twice daily, for at least 12 weeks, while the other 30 received no supplementation, management only. After 12 weeks, the bean block group experienced a significant reduction in body weight and waist circumference, while the control group showed only minor changes. Bean block also led to a significant decrease in oxidative stress in the blood. Additionally, participants who took bean block reported improved satiety and reduced appetite. No side effects were observed and participants complied well with the supplement regimen. The authors of the study concluded that when used in conjunction with a health management plan, bean block effectively assisted mildly overweight individuals in controlling their weight. This study was funded by the manufacturer of bean block though. This may create a potential conflict of interest as the company may have a financial interest in promoting the efficacy of their product. Therefore, independent studies are necessary to confirm the efficacy of bean block. Next is African mango. African mango is a tree native to the rainforests of West Africa. Its fruits are high in protein and share a resemblance to regular mangoes, which is why it's sometimes called wild mango, bush mango, dika, or ugbono. 
In a randomized controlled trial published in 2005, 28 of the 40 subjects received 1.05 grams of African mango seeds three times a day for one month, while the remaining 12 participants were given a placebo following the same schedule. Throughout the study, all subjects adhered to a normal calorie diet, which was monitored weekly. After one month, the group that consumed African mango seeds experienced a significant decrease in body weight, with an average reduction of 5.26%. In contrast, the placebo group saw only a smaller reduction of 1.32%. Additionally, the African mango seeds group showed improved improvements in blood lipid levels, including reduced total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, and triglycerides, as well as increased HDL cholesterol levels. These changes were not observed in the placebo group. The study's authors concluded that African mango seeds hold promise for aiding weight loss and improving blood lipid profiles in obese individuals. Also, in a 2009 study, 102 obese participants were randomly divided into two groups. One group received 150 milligrams of African mango extract, while the other received a placebo twice daily, 30 to 60 minutes before lunch and dinner. After 10 weeks, the group that received African mango extract experienced significant improvements in body weight, body fat, waist circumference, and various blood parameters, including total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, blood glucose, C-reactive protein, adiponectin, and leptin levels, compared to the placebo group. The study concluded that African mango extract, when administered twice daily before meals, had favorable effects on body weight and several metabolic parameters associated with conditions like obesity and metabolic syndrome. Eighth on my list is caffeine. In a meta-analysis published in 2019, researchers analyzed data from 13 different studies in involving 606 participants. They applied a specialized statistical method to examine the impact of caffeine intake on weight, body mass index, and body fat. The analysis revealed that for every doubling of caffeine intake, there was a 22% increase in weight reduction, a 17% increase in body mass index reduction, and a 28% increase in body fat reduction. This meta-analysis suggests that caffeine intake might promote weight, body mass index, and body fat reduction. Next is L-carnitine. In a systematic review and meta-analysis of nine randomized controlled trials involving a total of 911 participants, published in 2016, it was found that participants who took carnitine supplements experienced significant weight loss and a deep decrease in body mass index compared to those in the control group. However, the analysis suggested that the magnitude of weight loss through carnitine supplementation decreased over time. Researchers concluded that taking carnitine supplements can contribute to weight loss in adults. Further research into the use of carnitine, alongside other treatments, holds promise for addressing weight-related issues. Lastly, probiotics. In a systematic review of 20 studies comprising 25 trials and involving a total of 1,931 participants, published in 2015, it was found that taking probiotics resulted in an average weight loss and a reduction in body mass index. Furthermore, when individuals consumed a combination of probiotics, the reduction in body mass index was even more significant. Longer duration studies, lasting at least eight weeks, also yielded better results. Probiotics appeared to be more effective for overweight individuals. In conclusion, incorporating probiotics into your regimen can aid in weight loss and the reduction of your body mass index, particularly when a combination of probiotics is used. When it comes to supplements, it's important to be extra careful, especially now with the rise of reports about fake products floating around on platforms like Amazon. Big supplement players like Now Foods and Fungi Perfecti have actually come across instances where their products were counterfeited and sold. Fungi Perfecti found a bunch of Amazon sellers pushing knockoff versions of their host defense mushroom supplements, and Now Foods stumbled upon fake versions of their stuff. Psyllium husk capsules, magnesium citrate, and a men's multivitamin all being peddled by just one Amazon seller. To stay on the safe side, shop directly from the brand's website or trusted sources like iHerb, and don't forget to make sure there's been third-party testing for that added peace of mind. You can save some money by using the code APT0317 when you check out. Copy and save this special discount code because it doesn't have an expiration date. You can use it whenever you shop on iHerb.com. Just remember, what works for some people may not necessarily work for everyone. If you already tried it all and followed many doctors and health gurus, but nothing worked, you may find the answer by doing some digging into your genes. If you want to get to the root cause of some of your health issues, the first step is to find your problem genes. Taking personalized supplements based on your DNA may also help, and Self-Decode can help you with that. Self-Decode provides personalized health recommendations based on a combination of your DNA, labs, and environmental factors. There are just too many diets, supplements, and health hacks out there to waste your time and money on stuff that probably isn't going to work for you. So if you want to experiment in the most efficient and effective way, click on the link in the description box below to check out Self-Decode and unlock your own genetic blueprint. If you've learned something you didn't know before watching this presentation and you appreciate the time I invested in researching, writing, and creating this presentation, please give this video a like. If you're interested in looking and feeling your best and exploring natural solutions, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching!